Oh, I'm playing this guy again. I played him yesterday. Fulank? Yeah. I think this is a fine hand. Fulanky? How do you pronounce it? Fulanka. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh man, he is just straight out of the gate with Diagraph. If he follows that up with something, you might be in trouble. I think I will. Oh man. <laughs> okay. That seems pretty cool. The silent departure? No, the milling, like those two flashback cards. Oh, yeah. I'm wondering if I just depart his guy right now. Yeah, Durange Assistant doesn't really do you too much. No, not at this <clears throat> moment. Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah, because it's more of a main out of investment. Yeah. Who cares if it's coming into play tapped? Yeah, I was just trying to remember if this would prevent him from attacking into with this next turn, but that's not the case. Yeah. <laughs> that guy. He's back. Oh. oh. I think I just yeah. You try to just get him run out watch keep. Yeah, to play out some more dudes. Use up some removal maybe. But yeah, this is looking good. Yeah, that's quite a templar you got there. Oh. Uh, that's what I feared. You feared it. I did. But hey, maybe this is going to be something else I can kill. Yeah. Yeah. This is great. great. What a great <laughs> What a great Temblor. All right. <clears throat> nice one. <laughs> and he got a grasp for his interloper. Yes. Yeah, this, this is, is great. looking pretty good. I think I just Temblor now. Yeah, don't mm -hmm. Don't risk it. <clears throat> yeah. Just take the three for one. Well, the kind of cool thing is, even if he made a demon, I could depart it. Mm hmm. Ugh. There you go. This interface is the worst. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why Moto just can't handle my display. I don't know. Is it, like, really that crazy of a display? He had no plays. That makes me feel pretty good. Yeah. Hey, maybe I can grasp his interloper and he'll continue to have no plays. That seems pretty good. Oh man. See, like, I'm stalling on four lands now, and it's kind of like I'm just barely okay. I don't know. And you're playing 17. Right. I'm just, in my experience, this deck seems to want a lot of mana. Yeah. And yeah, I, I think it was correct. Also, so. I don't have the think twices to, like, dig me to more, even though I do have the amulet. Yeah. Jesus, what? Like,. Any is there any way for me to have that not do that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> what do you play here? I Just think deranged the assistant. Deranged assistant flashback. No, you probably don't want to flashback. No. Or I could or, forbidden alchemy. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. 
That might be better. I was just thinking to play this guy for more mana, but... Yeah, I think you want Forbidden Alchemy. Yeah. So you can start flashing back things and stop his interloper from interloping. Uh -huh. From behind those swamps. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky so, little guy. <laughs> he's so furtively interloping. I know. It's very furtive. Come Just on. Just bring out the sidebar, maybe? Alright. There we go. Okay. Rig. That guy is pretty big. Yeah, but he's not big enough. For your crab. I wonder if he's gonna kill it. <laughs> I don't know, nope. but he sent it back to beyond the... Yeah, and, like, look at this. It it's has like... no text box. Like, come on. Moto, you're not even trying. I guess yeah, get us this trick. Yeah. Then you drew a land so you can play the assistant as well. Oh, but you don't probably want to. Because that flips your bane. I think it's okay. To flip your bane? Yeah. But your bane is murdering him. True. Yeah. I probably just want to play the drake and then... <clears throat> or do you want to play fortress crab? To stop his text boxless geist catcher's rig. From running into you for God knows how much damage. It's four. Also, if I just play the Stitch Drake, I can block his interloper. I think that would be. It's an additional two damage. I don't know if he has bump and flashback bump, but either way. Oh, I. But like playing the Fortress Crab. I can't well, even play this. Why? You don't have any creatures? No. You're kidding me. I have no creatures. You're in kidding me. Okay, play Fortress Crab. Or I could play Scab to put more things in my graveyard and chump. Mm, that works too. Oh, also, I can flash back <coughs> Dream Twist. Yeah. Well, but then not now. that's gonna flip my guy. You can do that as an instant. No, I know. To hope to play this is what oh, I'm saying. Oh, nah, just play Scab and Chump Block. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I just realized, like, he can't attack you with this. Well, mm. Like, he's at five. Your Bane of Handware kills him. Yes. <clears throat> uh, nothing relevant. I mean, you got some creatures. creatures. You have five mana now, too, which is great, because... I can flash back the Silent <clears throat> Departure. Yeah. And just kill him. If he doesn't play another blocker. Well, even if he does play another blocker, you can still do that. So that he can't kill your Bane of Hanwer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Whoa. Guess he's not blocking that guy. I think I just depart the crossway vampire. Yeah. Although. No, I think I could you give do. him a way to kill me after I play my stitch strike. I think you still just depart the crossway vampire. I'm, I don't know. I think you want to kill the geist catcher rig. Okay. Like, he's at such low life. At least his Geist Catcher rig has a text box now. That's good. Yeah. Gonna get him down to four. Then you get to play a Stitch Drake. Do you have a Geist Flame? No. He didn't even have a Geist Flame. He had one card in hand for a while. Yeah, but it could have been a Geist Flame. There were a lot of Geist Flames we didn't get. True. Okay. 
He's gonna untransform my guy now. Which is unfortunate. Yeah. But he also played that thing, so... Yeah. You can play Stitch Drake and... Not have to worry about... This garbage. And you can play a deranged assistant. Because, like, who yes. even cares? Correct. <laughs> and maybe at some point you'll draw a burning vengeance. Did you mill any of them? No. Okay. Oh man, if he has bump, like double bump, that sucks. Or if he has a bump, that sucks. I think that's why he's attacking. We'll see. Well, well that's good. Um, I think you just win. Yep. Just do it after combat, just attack with everything. Maybe he won't know you're playing Burning Vengeance. Oh yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Is Bump a sorcery or an instant? <clears throat> it's a sorcery. So it's a good thing he didn't have it. True. I don't know if we have anything. I could see boarding and rage throw <laughs> against him because all his puny little guys. Yeah. And like really this, I don't know. A lot of his guys were kind of interlopers. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could see that. The only argument I would make against that is, did you ever get the six mana? That's not an argument. That's what happened in that one game that we played. Like, cool. I'm still playing 17 land, you know? No, I know. I just feel like you're going to either win the game or lose the game before you can play him. But that being said, he's still a fine guy. Eh, I don't know. It's true. I do have the pike, so maybe that's good enough. I mean, that's that was our argument before. Yeah. If you want to just give it a shot because you keep coming back to it, I still don't... I don't think this is a matchup for it, though, because yeah. the Templar is so good against him. Yeah. So. 